This episode of Bent Peddling is brought to you by Catrike. Passion meets engineering. Made in the USA. Catrike, a seven-time winner of Trike of the Year. And by Austin's Easy Street Recumbent Bikes and Trikes since 1996 with annual rallies and events across Texas. You can't ride down a trail uh, anywhere on a recumbent without having somebody flag you down. Hey, uh, could, could I stop you for a minute? Oh, yeah, what, what's up? What is that? Where, where can I get one? Uh, you know, what's it like? Is it is it easier than a regular bike? Is it harder than a regular bike? Uh, it, you know, what? why do you ride that instead of a regular bike? There's a lot of people out there that I know, and I'm one, that get into recumbents because of the the aerodynamic advantage, the comfort advantage, the downhill advantage, the speed advantage on the flats, um, and, and the downright enjoyment of being able to, to be able to see better about the, the surroundings of where you are uh, versus a, a diamond frame uh, upright conventional bike where you're hunched over looking at the ground. Diamond frame bikes are limited because they really don't uh, optimize or take advantage of the human anatomy and the human body in the way that a recumbent does. I had never liked leaning over the handlebars of a regular upright bike. I always was putting like tall handlebars on whatever bike I had. And people put up with, I know, because I was there, with an exceptional amount of pain and discomfort in order to be like everybody else and ride a diamond frame. I mean, as gentlemen, it's the most soul-destroying thing to get off a bicycle and not be able to feel the bit between your navel and your kneecaps. And when you sit down, you're in agony, either way. And to go and see your doctor, who says that if you carry on doing this, you're gonna do yourself some permanent damage. Your body is built to, for your head to drop, not do this. Okay, well, a recumbent takes advantage of that. You're never gonna have, you know, the back of the neck and your back killing you from trying to pull your head back for eight hours on a bike. Uh, you're never gonna have the same kind of problems with, you know, uh, your posterior end, you know, where you're, you feel like you're getting cut in half or you're just chafed or, you know, the, the myriad things that people complain about. None of that happens. Especially on the MS-150 where you're riding really long distances. So you're out there for like six, seven, eight hours all day long. Uh, I get a lot of, wow, you look really comfortable. And I say, that's because I am. <laughs> it's great. And, the, and I get a lot of, you want to trade around like 70 miles on the first day? <laughs> no, thank you. <laughs> I used to do that. I don't do that anymore. If you're going to spend your time you know, essentially sitting in the same position, I mean, we do it in our cars. You're not leaning over the hood. You're not, you know, <laughs> you're not perched in some horribly uncomfortable position in your car. So why would you do it on your bike? As I tell people, this is like riding your recliner down the street. Oh, this is for taking a nap. Now, you know, after after two hours on a conventional bike, I'm limping because I've had that seat post stuck up my crack all for two hours. On this, I can ride all day long, get up and, and go to a party and dance that night. You know, I mean, it's a totally different experience. And even the people that ride bicycles that know you do long distance on a trike, they can tend to be in a bit of awe because you can arrive as com in a lot better state of comfort than they do. And you don't have to buy all them gel stuff to put around your bits and pieces. 